Let's find the percent composition by mass of each element here in copper 2 sulfate. So what we'll do is we'll use this as our model here for finding the percent composition by mass of each element. So for copper, let's do that first. We'll take the molar mass of copper right here, 63.55 grams per mole. We multiply that by the number of copper atoms. We only have one, so we just have our one copper atom. We multiply and then we divide by the molar mass of copper to sulfate. If you need help with that, there's a link at the end of this video. So this is our molar mass for the copper to sulfate. So we multiply, then divide, and then we multiply everything by 100, and that'll give us 39.82%. And note that we had grams per mole on the top and the bottom, so they cancel out, so this is just a percent. We do the same process for sulfur. Got the molar mass or atomic mass here. We only have one sulfur atom, and then we divide all of that by the molar mass for CuSO4, multiply by 100, and we get 20 point zero one and that's our percent pause and try to figure out the percent composition by mass for the oxygen in CuSO4 and remember we have four oxygen atoms so we have that 16 here times the four oxygen atoms we multiply first then we divide by the molar mass once we get that number we multiply it by a hundred and we get 40 Point one zero percent for the percent composition by mass of oxygen and copper to sulfate. All of these numbers should add up pretty close to 100. It's not always exact, but it should be 99.9 .9 something. This is Dr. B with the percent composition for each element here in CuSO4, copper to sulfate. Thanks for watching.